Are you sick of Scratch's low quality MIDI instruments? For the past two months, I've been working on the best scratch talk because I was bored. The full version is already up, however, it will not work on Chrome or Edge because there is way too many samples for it to load. You have to use Firefox or you have to use Turbo Warp because Firefox doesn't limit the memory, but Edge and Chrome do. For example, if I try and run this project on Chrome, it will pretty quickly crash because there is three and a half thousand samples. It won't work no matter how many times you reload it. If you have scratch add-ons, you can use this turbo warp button in the top and, and that will load fine. Or you could use the actual turbo warp site and paste in the project here. After you wait what could take minutes, it should finally load. Make sure turbo mode's on. I was too lazy to come up with title music, so I just have this for now. If you ever need to look at the tutorial, there is. It goes briefly over everything here. And if you want to check out all the updates, I put little logs here, just because why not? Almost everything has a keybind, and you can change it to whatever you want. These are the defaults. There are only two settings, but you know, they're there if you need them. If you ever want to look at any of the examples, you can go to load and type in whichever one you want. And you can load them up and you can look at them. To load your own project, you just hit the period button and you paste your code in here. Or if you don't have one, you can create a project, name it whatever you want. There are 16 instruments. I cannot add any more, even though I would like to, because Scratch will probably kill itself. To add one, all you have to do is just click on it, so you, know, you can have all the strings if you want. And to edit their notes, you just click on their picture, and it brings you into the piano roll. To go around the piano roll, there are an octave and a bar. The bar is where you physically are in the song, and the octave is how high or low on the, the piano you are. So if you hit up and down arrow, you scroll along the, the piano roll, and left and right is basically left and right of the, of the song. All you need to do to place a note is just click. And of course, space to play it. The green notes are short notes, or such as those. Blue ones are sustained notes. So those are longer notes. If you click on the cursor and have no notes selected, you can tap on each individual note and adjust their volume. And for sustained notes, you can adjust how long they are. So I can make this one 12 notes long, and I can make this one two notes long. This orange note is a brand new, it's a repeater note. It's basically a short note, but it's kind of like a fake eighth note. You can get rid of notes by clicking on them, or you, the eraser erases the entire row. So I get rid of these sustains. They'll just disappear automatically. This solo button makes it so it mutes every other instrument except the one you're currently viewing. This is so if you're working on a bigger song, you can hear just the part you're working on. It makes it a lot easier to know what you're doing. And to go back, all you do is hit the X button. And it works the same. So here's the cello and the viola. You can see the names up here. And this X button, all it does is just get rid of the instrument if you don't want it anymore. The purple button is just volume. So it's just how loud the overall instrument will be. All the keybinds and settings are saved on the project, so if you load someone else's project, you will get all their keybinds and settings. Just keep that in mind. The default keybind for copy and paste is C and V, so if I hit T, you'll hear a little pop noise that means you copied it. And for say I go to the cello, actually the cello's not in range. Bassoon, bassoons can go high up. And if you hit V, it'll paste the you know string pattern. One of the limitations is you can only have two notes per line, so I put in here, nothing happens. But if I try and put a third one, it will move the second one to where this one is. This is again, just scratch limitations. It's not the biggest deal, because you can get around it pretty easily. There are 16 instruments, but you know, again, something else to keep in mind. 
if you hit T at any time, you can change the BPM. It defaults to 80, but you know, you can put it to like 40, or you can go higher. However, do keep in mind if you do go over, I think it's 120, the repeater notes do stop working. That is only because Scratch physically can't keep up. Of course, always remember to save. You can do that by hitting S. You'll get this little, little pop-up thing. This first line is the entire code, but obviously it gets cut off. So you want to triple, triple click it. Make sure you don't manually select it all. And then, you know, control C. And to make sure you can always just paste it into a web thing. And you should see the version at the end. That means you copied the entire thing. And then you can just hit any button to get out of it. So if I were to restart the project and load it back in, I should have the exact same project back. And if you're wondering, I did sample everything I use for my actual music. So you can get it sounding pretty close to the stuff I do. You could use this for games or whatever you want because this is kind of better than a lot of free stuff. And it's on Scratch, so it shouldn't be too, too hard to run. There is a Scratch form where you can post your save codes, if you know, if you want to, of course. I've only had one person do it so far, so, you know, it'd be pretty cool to check out some people's stuff. But yeah, that should be almost everything, so hope you have fun with it, and hope it doesn't crash every three seconds like it does on school laptops.